Hello guys, welcome to another video in this React series. In React.js, you can use Bootstrap Grid System to create responsive layouts easily. The Bootstrap Grid System is based on 12 column layout, which allows you to divide the screen width into 12 equal parts. You can then combine these columns to create various responsive layouts for different screen sizes based on your requirement. As you can see in this first example, you can divide the entire screen width into four different parts or you can combine different columns and make it use based on requirement as shown in these examples. To use the Bootstrap Grid System in React.js, you will first need to include the Bootstrap CSS framework in your project. You can do this by either linking the Bootstrap CSS file from a CDN or by installing it using a package manager like npm or yarn. The second method which is installing package into your application is the preferred one in React.js. In this video we will learn to set up and use the bootstrap grid system in React.js application. For that let's open the code editor first. The first step which we need to do is installing the bootstrap. To install the bootstrap in your application go to console window and here write npm install bootstrap then press enter this will install the necessary files which are required for bootstrap in your application once this is done the second step is we need to import the bootstrap css in our main file that is nothing but app.js file for that one you can add the code import and the path of the bootstrap file at the top of your app.js file. Next step is creating a responsive layout using grid system in your component. You can now use the bootstrap grid classes to create a responsive layout. For example, you might want to create a simple two column layout. In that case, we would need the classes and the structure as shown here. In this example, the container class is used to center the content horizontally for our page and the row class contains the columns which we have added within this div tag. The column-sm-6 class indicates that each column should occupy 6 out of 12 available columns on small screens and larger than that one. If you want to occupy this division, 3 columns you can mention as 3 columns. If you want to mention 5 columns that much of column space will be given to this division. So and whatever the content within this division that will be shown within these five columns. And you can adjust the number of columns each element should occupy on different screen sizes by using the classes like column-sm as in this case and you can use column-md or column-sg etc along with this one as well. So in that case, you can add column iPhone MD5 so that for medium resolution devices also it five columns. If you want to change this one, you can change this one for that particular resolution by using this class. Let's add the content for the second division as well. Here one thing you need to remember that exact class names which we are using here may change depending on the version of bootstrap which you are using. In this example, I am using bootstrap 4. If you are using bootstrap 5 or later, there might be some differences in class names and how the grid system works. So let's save this file and run this application to see how it will look in the browser. Now you can see the content which we have added in the application that is being displayed here and you can also observe a predefined space that is nothing but the columns which we have defined those are added to these two contents to properly check how much space is allocated to this one you can inspect this one and here you can see when you mouse over on this code the five columns is allocated to the first content or the division which we have added similarly for second one six columns are defined to this one with this bootstrap grid system you can easily create responsive and mobile friendly layouts for your react.js application 
You can extend this grid concept based on your requirements and create more complex layouts. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you like this, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.